Hey geeks, I wanted to give you a demonstration of my new tool called the Spargen Dev Tool. This tool actually was created in 2016 as an application and I've now since turned it into a global tool. The reason I moved it to a global tool is so you can call it from any command line, including from Visual Studio. This tool currently has two main features. One I call the clean feature, the other feature I call the backup feature. And I'm going to show you the backup feature first. What the backup feature does is it scans your entire system for source control. Then it will ask you if you want those folders backed up. And once you say yes or no, then it will quickly back them up for you. The main reason I wrote this feature was because every single source control program I've ever used in my career, including GitHub, seems to clobber code and I lose code and I hate working on code for hours or days even and then all of a sudden get it lost because of a source control program. So I religiously run this every time before I even touch source control. Before I can do a commit or a push or anything, I run this. Because it is a command line tool, I actually add this to Visual Studio that every time I do a build, it does a backup. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So to run it, all you need to do is type in Spargen backup. It'll quickly look through the folders it's trying to search for and it will ask you each one and that will be put into a configuration file so you don't need to do it again. So in this case, I'm only backing up my main source folder for this demonstration. Once it's done backing up, it will tell you how many files are backed up, how, ma how many uh, gigabytes are backed up, and also show you the lifetime stats. The backup mode and the clean mode is configurable where you can add and remove folders that you want uh, that my program didn't find for you. To do that, just type Spargen Backup AF and then the folder you want to add. And as you can see, now it's added to the configuration. The other thing I want to mention is that by default, uh, this program will back up all your files to OneDrive. So therefore, uh, not only are you backing up your files, but you're putting them in the cloud just in case uh, your local drive goes down. Depending how much source code you have on your system, this that could actually take some time to back up. And so I want to make this as quick as possible once you do a complete backup. So I added a, a turbo mode. And the turbo mode will back up the same folders that you configured earlier, but it will only back up the changed files. Just type Spargen backup dash dash turbo and that'll kick in the turbo mode. I use this turbo mode in Visual Studio for every time I build my open source project. So I never lose any code ever again with the system. The next thing I want to show you is the clean feature. I originally wrote this clean feature is because uh, not only was Visual Studio and SQL Server and other applications leaving a bunch of files laying around on my system that it doesn't really need to be there, uh, but I also found that you can run into issues uh, debugging your code mostly. And if you're, if you're debugging your code and going back and forth, especially on web applications, and all of a sudden for no apparent reason, it just stops working. Well, this is probably the reason why. It's, it gets confused and it's, it's looking at the wrong files with all the builds you were doing while you were trying something out. And so what the clean feature does is it goes through and cleans out specific folders, um, including the Visual Studio uh, areas where it caches files, SQL Server, and other applications to get rid of them. So it will stop hampering your development and it will free up a bunch of space on your drive. So to invoke it, you just type in Spargen clean. Then it will tell you the, f the folders it's looking at and then it will go through and try to find those files uh, to, to clean for you. Once it finds those files, then it will quickly do that. And because this is a deletion process, it can actually happen very, very quick, especially if you run this every day as I do. And just like with the backup feature at the end, it will tell you not only how many files are deleted, how many folder, folders it deleted, but it will also give you the lifetime stats, as you can see. So this, since this is a new configuration file, this 
is my actual lifetime stats I wanted to show you of just how many fi files it's deleted over time since I have this new version out. So there you have it, the clean feature and the backup feature for the Spargen dev tool. I'll give you a link on how to download it and to and how to install it. But I hope that will you will use it every day just as I do. And especially before you get anything or push anything in your source control uh, program that you use, please, please run the backup feature so you don't lose any code. You don't want to go to your employer going, oh, I've lost some code because I the source control program clobbered it. You know, your boss isn't going to like that. So uh, that's why this tool uh, is around. And so I use it every day that I'm coding and I want to add more features to it. So if you have features uh, that you want me to add to this very, very useful tool, uh, please email me or tweet me and I'll be happy to add those for you. I hope you like this tool as much as I do.